Okay, um, let's talk about how to, the sum of a geometric series. Uh, the sum of a geometric series is really easy to find. It's really easy to tell if it uh, converges, diverges, sum it up. It, it, they're just really handy to work with. Um, if you uh, take a look at this, you might notice that it is a polynomial. Um, it's got n, de n degree. Okay, so um, let's just let's just investigate the sum of a geometric series. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this whole thing by x. So if I do that, I end up with a. Okay, did that all fit on the page? I hope it did. Let me, let me back off just a tad. Okay, so there we go. I went off the page and went uphill a little bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take S sub N, which is just the nth partial sum, and I'm, I'm going to subtract it from what I just uh, conjured up. Okay, now remember when we subtract or add polynomials, um, I can't really do anything um, except with the like terms. So if I'm going to subtract this from this, um, I'm going to end up doing a times x. I have to subtract the like term. Okay, so this thing's really just going to collapse in on itself. Okay, and it's going to do it really quick. And this a, ax to the fifth, it's, it's somewhere in there, just shorthand notation right here. And another thing, if I'm subtracting this from this, then this will have a negative sign convention. So when it, at the end of the day, all I'm left with is this first term, this a minus a x sub n. You see how it works? Because I'm subtracting this polynomial from this polynomial. Okay, there's nothing really left to do but factor. So I'm gonna factor the entire sum out, as weird as it might look. And then I'm going to factor this, this constant out, this a. Okay, now I want to divide. Divide both sides, okay. So it looks like the nth partial sum, and if, if that n happens to be infinity, then it's, you know, the infinite series. then this, my friends, is the sum to a geometric series. Now just right, right off the bat, there are some pretty noteworthy things about this series. Uh, the first thing is, is, let's take a look at x, okay? If x is some sort of fraction, if it's, if it's between negative 1 and 1, um, just think for a minute. If I take you know, one fourth, and I raise it to, um, you know, if I raise it to the to an infinite power, if I multiply, you know, like say this was an infinite series, uh, this thing is eventually going to go to zero, right? So the consequence of this is that if If that happens, then this is pretty much zero. So it's one minus zero is just one. So we end up with a sub one, the first, the first term, and one minus x. Okay. So this is this is going to really pay off later when we look at uh, series and things like that because we can sort of manipulate this. Uh, we can integrate it and we can uh, differentiate it and we can produce other geometric series representations of, of um, functions, okay? And, and really this, an another way you could think about this is a power series. I mean, it's a, it's a, it, is a, it is a series of powers and we'll get into power series later, but this is just a real short video on how we end up with the sum of a geometric series and it's really handy, okay?
So rock and roll and you know all that stuff.